Hey everybody, we wanted to do a quick video on the simplest possible way to decant a Wegovy auto injector uh, with the fewest number of supplies. So what do we need? First, you need the Wegovy injector. And if you're doing this exercise, it makes sense to get uh, the largest dose you can. In this case, we have the maximum dose of 2.4 milligrams. Then we're going to use a TB syringe as an intermediate vessel. Uh, we could possibly use a sterile vial for this, but TB syringes are more common and a little bit easier to get. So you want to get something that's at least one milliliter. It doesn't matter if it's slip tip or lure lock, this technique will work with either. And then we need an insulin syringe. This is a 0.3 milliliter one and would be good for this exercise. Finally, a piece of aluminum foil so that we can wrap the TB syringe before we put it in the fridge when we're all done and a tall glass so that if we need to sit something up vertically, uh, we just have a fixture to do that. The syringe we're going to use as the intermediate vessel. The first step is to make sure this needle is secure. This is a slip tip, so you need to press it on really tight because they tend to come off easy. Okay, now that we know that the needle is nice and secure, we're going to remove the plunger and we're going to place it somewhere clean, like let it overhang the lid of this glass. Next, we're going to grab the Ozempic injector we're going to center over the top of the TB syringe. And this step is the only tough part in the whole process. You're gonna make sure you're exactly centered and that everything's vertical and you're gonna press it down to fire it. Okay, at this point you have your 0.75 milliliters of Ozempic safely in the TB syringe, this acting as the intermediate vessel. Now we're going to reinstall the plunger, but you can't press down here because it'll come out of the needle. You have to turn it over carefully, let the bubble settle a bit, and then you can remove the excess air. A best practice we discovered is to let the foam settle before attempting to reinstall the plunger. So after you inject into the TB syringe, place it in a glass for a minute, let the foam settle, and then put the plunger in. So the TB syringe is a little bit too big to fit back in the Ozempic box, so we need to keep it in the dark. I did to wrap it in aluminum foil. 